Now we have to enter a new formula which converts the distance into time. So to figure this out, again, we saw that in the previous two people's sections, it actually computed it automatically. So we can take a look at those formulas up here in the formula bar, and we can try and replicate that here. So we see it's equals square root of two times whatever this cell is, whatever's in this cell, divided by 9.8, as in 9.8 meters per second squared. So let's go ahead and go equals SQRT, whoops, SQRT. And if we're not sure what needs to go in here, it'll tell us the value. So we said two times whatever is over here, divided by 9.8. And then we can go ahead and close parentheses. We see we get 0 0.20, which is kind of in the same ballpark as what we were seeing previously. So it's likely we did it correct. And if we want to practice, we can go ahead and enter that again, or we can simply copy and paste this all the way down. Uh, and this last one for average time, you'll notice previously we actually just calculated the square root of the average distance. So let's go ahead and do that again here. Equals SQRT, two times average distance divided by 9.8. Oops, I didn't close parentheses, but it's smart enough to do that automatically for us.